listening to Washington, D.C. This is the suffering voice of America crying out for relief. Now, I don't know what a gallon of gas cost up on Capitol Hill, but we sure know what it cost down here in Realityville. And the damage already done has been a mighty heavy toll. And if we're gonna fix it, we gotta start right here at home. Drill Hill, drill now. How about some more from our own soul that belongs to us anyhow? Ain't no more debate, we're tired of waiting, everybody shout out. Hi, my name is Glenn Mitch Sitter, and I'm here today on Mount Washington, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The song, Drill Here, Drill Now, sends the message that U.S. energy security based on foreign tankers is dangerous. Don't forget, OPEC forced the U.S. to gas rationing in the 70s as punishment for U.S. support of Israel during the war with Syria. Russia is now moving surface-to-air missile systems to Syria, some believe, to defend against Israeli fighter jets. If we are going to have a hands-off, let-them-fight-each-other policy, we need to be energy independent, which brings me to this. In 2011, Country Mark Refining drilled a wildcat well on the Holman family farm in Vigo County, Indiana. The Holmans know a little about risk, success, and luck, as they're the same family that owns the Indy 500 racetrack. Country Mark leased the farmland next to Holman International Airport and discovered a thousand barrel a day wildcat oil well at only 1,600 feet. This kicked off quite a drilling play, and whether you're an oil and gas startup, a drilling contractor, or an early stage energy company, the project size is completely uh, scalable, and this could be your perfect storm. Why risk for drilling 14,000 feet or deeper, spending five, ten million dollars or more, when these shallow, high volume prospects can be punched down and brought online for a few hundred thousand dollars? And we're not talking about overpressured, fracture porosity, flash in the pan scenarios. These potentials have staying power. As it turns out, a few decades earlier, this area was in the crosshairs of mobile oil prior to their move offshore. Objectives changed and they never drilled. The managing geologist who ran their Illinois Basin Exploration Program actually had Holman as a secondary target. These prospects target a series of shallow draped reefs along the Terre Haute Reef Bank. That managing geologist from back in the day was Noel Daniel, now CEO for an Indianapolis-based geology and geophysics company. My company, Aerial Resources of Indianapolis, in conjunction with the Daniel Company, also of Indianapolis, have leased a nearby farm which overlays Noel's original primary target. We're looking for development partners, and if this sparks your interest and you want to know more, we want to hear from you, and we do appreciate your time with our film.